A, a ton of the western part of the country is dealing with a multi-day heat wave as we speak. I'm talking about 40 million people being affected here. We're seeing record heat in states like Wyoming, Utah, Arizona, Southern California as well. And like we talked about yesterday, but it's still just a wild fact, so we got to say it again. Death Valley, which is in Eastern California, hit 125 degrees on Wednesday. 125 degrees, let that sink in. But I wanna talk about Cali for just the next few minutes. I'm gonna go jump into our virtual world for that, so follow me on in, in here, come on. Access granted. You are now entering the NBCLX virtual world. So what Ngozi was just talking about, what, what people are being told to do in Texas, almost the exact same thing happening in California. From six to nine tonight in the state of California, people are being asked to, and this may sound like an exact echo from what you just heard, they're being asked to turn thermostats up to at least 78 and avoid using big appliances. They actually requested people to do this last night as well. On top of asking people to cut back on how much power they're using, Governor Gav Gavin Newsom signed some emergency paper paperwork. This lets power plants ramp up things if they need more electricity, basically. And according to Pacific Gas and Electric, some people in Northern California could be dealing with rotating power outages on top of all of this. So this heat wave in Cali is on top of a huge drought. Those two things combined increase the potential for, yep, you guessed it, fires, which we've seen a lot in recent years. So of course, this is a huge concern for the state. In fact, NBC Bay Area talked to a fire prevention specialist with California's fire agency. She says people need to do a few things, okay, just to be careful. First of all, don't use power tools outside. Avoid using lawnmowers. Get this, because it could hit a rock and create a spark. Also, if you're, if you're towing a trailer on your car or your truck, make sure all the chains aren't hitting the road that they're tightly fastened. They said, quote, all it takes is just one spark. So some very specific precautions being asked to take there. So let's spend a bit more time on that line between heat wave plus drought equals fire danger. NBC 7's Keith Bryant is in San Diego. He's joining us live from SD. Keith, how you doing? You're a meteorologist. So um, help us out on the science front here. Uh, do these uh, current conditions we're seeing mean fire seasons could start earlier? Well, thank you, Nick, for having me this morning. Well, yes, you know, here in San Diego, you know, we're dealing with a heat wave. And, you know, a heat wave means, you know, abnormally high temperatures, really 90 or above for two days or more, and that enters us into a heat wave. So with fire danger in mind here in San Diego County, you know, because of our heat, you know, our firefighters have told us that they have seen really like a quarter increase in wildfires because of the heat. And because of how dry it is, that intense heat, that can spark some wildfires, especially in dry brush in areas that are really just has a lot of dry brush everywhere. Okay, so it's kind of like a perfect storm of things coming together, I guess is what you're kind of saying here. Yes, it's like a perfect recipe. Yes, but not so perfect, right? And now when, when we yes. talk when we, when we talk about uh, climate change here, it's important to note that it manifests in many different ways. Of course, when people think about drought, uh, they don't associate it with water, obviously, but also, you know, storms come more than usual then. Uh, lightning obviously creating a whole nother factor there as well when it comes to the fires, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, we had some fires, you know, caused by, you know, lightning bolts, you know, just hitting a tree and not really just spark a fire and not really just rage on and really devastate communities. So it's not only drought, and especially here in California, we have something called the Santa Ana winds. And so when you factor in heat, dry, dry conditions, and those winds, that could really spark up wildfires in our state. Now, heat waves are part of weather, but climate change is contributing to us seeing longer heat waves and more in a year, as you were saying. Now, does this mean we're almost going to have to get used to this kind of stuff uh, moving into the future? Sad to sad to think, but yeah, you know, it really depends. You know, Mother Nature is very fickle. Um, you know, because you know, right now we're dealing with a heat wave, but you know, in two days or a week, it can be cool or you know, comfortable temperatures again. So. We really can't look out that far, but patterns are telling us that we could see hotter summers because, you know, of all the greenhouse gases in the air, the world is warming up. And that means hotter temperatures really across everywhere. So that can lead to really hot summers, maybe for a time being in the next couple of years. 
What what are the conversations like where you are in, in, in San Diego about about these kinds of things? You're by the coast there in Southern Cali, just to paint people a picture there. Uh, what are the conversations like uh, surrounding this topic? You know, our firefighters say, you know, always defensible space, clearing brush, because here in San Diego, we have mountains and valleys and deserts. And, you know, people really need to clean up where, you know, those dead trees, that dry brush to really move it and also have a fire kit you know, prepared because here in California, fire season is really 12 months out of the year. It can happen really in the winter, the fall, the spring, the summer, anywhere. So we always have to be prepared and ready to go. Thank you, Keith. Uh, you know, I asked that just because, you know, um, geographically speaking, the United States is so diverse. So what people are experiencing in California is completely different from what people here where we are in the middle of the country in Texas are experiencing versus the East Coast, the Midwest, etc. Right. So it's important to kind of talk and highlight, uh, you know, how the climate differs and how climate change may manifest differently, right? And how that might change policy um, on the state level. So Keith, thank you so much for giving us that insight from Southern California. Stay safe this, uh, this fire season and hope all is well. Thank you. Over to you. Well, thank you so much.